We haven't seen a ton of snowfall since earlier on in the fall season. The winter season has been lacking in us far for snow. That may change just a little tonight. We have a weak weather system working into eastern Iowa that is bringing with it some snow showers. As you can see, they're just starting to get closer towards the Quad Cities. Decent little band of snow in there, but uh, this storm system in general is pretty weak, so it's not going to hang around for very long or drop much for snowfall. Right now we are dry. We should stay that way until about 9 o'clock tonight. Here's future track at 9 o'clock and we are getting possibly a mixture of a little drizzle or freezing rain mixing in with the snow. But for the most part, all of this will fall as snow. By 1030, we have a snow shower spreading across the state line, and that's going to continue until about midnight. Once we get beyond midnight, as you can see, the storm system's exiting already, so it may just be flurry activity into Saturday morning. Could take until closer to noon before the flurries fully stop falling in the area. And not a ton coming for snow accumulation. As you can see, most spots getting a half an inch or less. As you get closer towards Iowa, however, we may see up to an inch, especially around Sterling and Savannah, even into Dick. So in general, we're expecting an inch or less for snowfall overnight. Many locations a half an inch or less unless as you get closer towards the west, closer to Iowa, that's where that snow is expected to ramp up a little. Between 9 p.m. and midnight is when all the light snow arrives, and then about midnight to 5, more in the way of flurry activity. Either way, despite the uh, minor amounts, slick spots possible. So be careful driving around early Saturday morning. 28 for a low tonight with a northwest breeze kicking in up to about 10 miles per hour. And as we get into the weekend itself, we are looking at drier conditions under a partly cloudy sky. Temperatures near average, another somewhat brisk day again with a high of 35. Then we reverse direction and get up to 45 on Saturday, all thanks to windy conditions kicking in. Note the wind gusts up to about 40 miles per hour out of the west. Uh, so we are looking at uh, plenty of blustery conditions, but that does boost that temperature up uh, by about 10 degrees. As we get into next week, temperatures will be staying close to 40s on Monday under a partly cloudy sky. Then we get back to more wintry conditions for the middle of the week. There's a slight chance for snow on Tuesday and the possibility of a rain snow mix on Thursday. We'll keep an eye on that for you as we get closer towards next week. And that's a look at your weather forecast. We'll be right back.